Hello, my name is Estefania Pacheco from the Wireless Technical Leadership Team. In this video, you will see how to execute preparations to maximize your chances of success during the upgrade process of the Cisco Catalyst 9800 WLC when using ISSU. Pre-upgrade preparation 1. Hardware requirements Supported platforms Ensure that you possess the required hardware for a smooth experience. ISSU is compatible and supported only for the devices here in the list. 2. Software requirements Supported releases ISSU support starts in 17.3x for systems in HASSO. It only supports upgrade between long-lived release versions, so make sure that both the starting and target software are supported long-lived releases. Some long-lived release strains are 17.3, 17.6, 17.9, and 17.12. For additional information regarding version compatibility, visit our Cisco video library and watch our video title ISSU Upgrade Process and Compatibility Version Verification on the Catalyst 9800 WLC. Installation mode. ISS is only supported in install mode, and bundle mode is not supported. Ensure that both active and standby controllers are in install mode and the boot variable points to boot flash packages.conf. You can verify this by using the show version pipe include installation mode and the show boot commands on active controller. If the installation mode is set to bundle, please refer to our install and upgrade tech notes on how to convert to install mode. Roman version. Ensure that both chassis have the same and latest Roman version. This requirement only applies to physical appliances. Refer to our recommended Cisco ISXC releases for Catalyst 9800 WLC document for the latest recommended firmware. Verify your Roman version using the Show ROM Monitor Chassis Active or Standby R0 command. For more information about the Roman upgrade, visit our Cisco video library and watch our short video titled 9800 WLC Roman Upgrade. Three, device health check, freeze based on flash. Ensure there is enough disk space to host and expand the new image as there should be a space available to store at least three images. Verify it using the dear boot flash pipe include free and dear standby boot flash pipe include free commands. In the case of not enough space in boot flash, consider cleaning up the old installation files using the install removing active command. HASSO up and running. Both chassis must be in ready state and peer controller in a standby hot state with the communications up. Verify both controllers' status using the show chassis RMI and show redundancy commands. And in the case of the 9800 cloud, also validate that both chassis have the same HA interface using the show room bar command. If the HA interface numbers are different, do not proceed with ISSU and resolve the interface mismatch first. Break the HA pair and reconfigure the HA interfaces to be the same on both controllers using the command show redundancy HA interface gigabit ethernet and the ID. Check the install state. Avoid incomplete upgrade procedures and verify there is no inactive or uncommitted software on the WLC using the show install summary command. The running code must be marked C to indicate it is activated and committed. Then validate that no other ISSU process is in progress using the show ISSU state detail command. The ideal state is no ISSU operation in progress. If there is an unwanted ISSU or install operation, you can use the install abort ISSU command to cancel it and return the system to the previous installation state in ISSU fashion. Once finished, verify the ISSU status. Another option is to manually clean up the internal installation states. Use this procedure with caution as a reload might be required for this process. First, enable the service internal using the service internal command in the global configuration mode. Then clean the ISSU state using the clear install state command. You 
You can verify the install state using the show install summary command. Then disable service internal using the no service internal command in the global configuration mode. Redundancy Config Sync. Use the following commands to display any configuration synchronization failures or ignore mismatch command list. Resolve the configuration failures, if any, before you proceed with the upgrade. This ends up the ISSU pre-upgrade readiness checklist video. Remember you can access the Cisco Video Library for more useful short videos. Thanks for watching.